Code Monkey Jr. Advanced Procedures number three. Our monkey is going in one direction and getting some bananas. So we're gonna plan for those bananas. So let's start here. We're on the square. When the monkey is on the square, the monkey needs to jump straight up and get the banana. So that's the first step. Then the monkey will need to go forward and the monkey will need to jump up to land on there. So those three steps should work each time the monkey lands on the square. Let's look at the circle. We only need to get from one shape to the next. Now the circle is a little interesting. You can see I'm kind of cut off here. Um, there we go. Ah, I didn't have all the information. That's good that I moved that because I would have done that wrong. Um, so the green circle looks like it's just going forward one. Now, hold up. When we double check and we sort of look, I see that this green circle goes forward one, will land here. This green circle will go forward one, land here. But guess what? This one can't go forward. It needs to jump up. So here's the thing. Sometimes a strategy will be to use the jump up because when the monkey jumps up from here, the monkey will still land on the next block. As long as there isn't a platform or something the monkey will hit um, its head on, jumping up does the job. So let's take a look at our blue triangle. The blue triangle needs to jump up one, jump up two. Now, when we spot check that, like this blue triangle, the blue monkey, the monkey doesn't need to jump up here, but jumping up will be okay. That's sort of what we're looking for. But the monkey will need to jump up here. So it will work in both places. In the advanced sequences or procedure section, we're gonna start having to be more creative and flexible with how we solve our problems. This is the first time we're doing that, where we've got to change up our solution. So far they're working. And in the future, if you have one that works sometimes, but not all the time, think about how you can be more flexible. <laughs> 